Hello there, it's me, Debbie, from White Pine. I'm excited to take you out to a favorite spot of mine near my house. And there's some hiking trails here. And right behind me is a beautiful big oak tree. And I've been visiting this oak tree the past couple weeks as I hike around. And I'm noticing that it has a beautiful big branches and out in the wide open near this big hay field. But it has a lot of these really curious, fluffy things all over the ground of this big oak tree. Here, I'll show you a few photos so you can get a closer look. So yeah, looking at those weird fluffy things all over the ground, if I had to count, like more than 10 maybe a dozen of these some are flat some are big some are small some are like five inches some are like really little but my thinking of who this creature was is there is a creature that likes to have uh, get rid of some of the food waste it can't digest and brings it back up and leaves it on the ground and it's done and it's just fur and bones and a classic creature that likes to do that, especially in nice big trees out in the open to roost, is an owl. So yeah, we got a few owls that live here in New England. We got great horns and barred owls and lots of smaller owls. But a fun thing to do with what these fuzzy things are called owl pellets is really fun opportunity to see what the owl has been eating by looking at the bones and fur that's been left behind. So I collected one. I put it in some tin foil get to a warmer spot because my hands are freezing and I'm going to check out and see if I can dissect one of these fuzzy bony owl pellets. All right, I'm in a warmer spot from that cold, cold wind. This is my house and I still have my little owl pellet and I'm just going to see if I can open it up in here. So yeah, check it out with me. Okay, got my owl pellet. I, uh, just so you know, I baked them in the oven for 40 minutes because that's how you help sanitize any owl pellets that you might take home and do this activity. So it is sanitized. So I can touch it with my hands. So we can open it up, check it out. It's pretty gross. Oh, I already see some bones in here. So yeah, I even might grab some a little bone here with some fur on it. It might be tough to see, but I'll put it right there for you to check it out. Here's another little arm bone or something going on here. Let's see if I can open it up further. Oh, it's just a big pile of fluff. Oh man, it's just super fluffy and super, wow, it's all just, oh, here's another little bone. Sorry, you can't see. It's a weird, oh, there used to be a piece of a jawbone in here. Sorry if the visual is not too good in playing with the angles on my phone. <laughs> oh, I feel some more big, chunky, and look at, there's a bunch of different like colored fur here. We have a lot of gray and we have a lot of brown or like dark gray or white. Oh man, oh, it's just, completely one big fur ball. Oh man, look at all that <laughs> fur. So yeah, there's a lot of fur in here and just actually, that's like a big chunk of fur and just a few little bones inside. There are some teeth on this one. That's pretty tough to see, but there are some teeth. And because these teeth, oh, I need to take a closer look with my eyeballs. Yeah, these teeth are really zigzaggy. Let me see if I can get it, there it go. And you can kind of see they zig and they zag. And if you know your, your mouse skulls pretty well, if you dissected enough of these owl pellets, I would lean that this creature that the owl ate was maybe a creature called a vole. So yeah, <laughs> there's not a lot of bones in this one, which also, could be some more information about 
which creature had eaten this animal. We can still say it was maybe an owl. We could also say it was maybe a hawk, but there are some bones left behind so we can see who it has eaten. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed the owl dissection and maybe go find some owl pellets of your own. You guys have a great day. Take care. Bye.